All right, Ian. Yes. We haven't talked about our buddy at games in a while, have we? No, we haven't. Well, kind of been on the downturn. They got the, the got the rug pulled out from underneath them. They originally announced they were doing the Sega Genesis yep. uh, Mini. And Sega was like, wait a second, boys. I don't think that's happening. And that's the reason why, from, from the most part, it sounds like the Sega Genesis Mini is a, it's a solid little piece. You enjoyed it, right? Mm-hmm. I did. It's pretty good. So Walgreens is suing at games for breach of contract right now. The retailer alleges that the plug and play game company owes it nearly 1.62 million for unsold products it returned to them. That's insane. Wow. Okay. Uh, there's also a trademark infringement suit from Bandai Namco over uh, Miss Pac-Man happening right now. Uh, that's a ni- nice separate lawsuit happening right now. Yeah. Um, so let's start with the Walgreens one at first. Sure. Walgreens files suit. This is from the game industry games industry biz. Walgreens filed suit against At Games for breach of contract in August, saying it had it had a deal with the company that provided products on a guaranteed sale basis, meaning At Games would never excuse me, meaning At Games would accept any unsold units back and refund the chain whatever it paid for them, in addition to an additional fee and shipping costs. So, you know, Walgreens is going to pay for the cost to get all the stuff in their warehouse, but if it doesn't sell, guess what? I want my money back for this unsold stuff, and you're going to pay the shipping cost to to, to lug them back, right? Yep. Walgreens says it returned more than 66,500 units, for which it paid between $15 and $38 each, but At Games refused to make payment. As a result, Walgreens claimed it owed nearly $1.62 million from the company. Allowing At Games to retain the benefits of its own wrongdoing, as alleged herein, would violate fundamental principles of justice, equity, and good conscience, in- including by affording At Games the opportunity to sell the return items twice, Walgreens said in this suit all right well we've seen that games throw out their little plug and play little little genesis style controllers with like the uh, namco games on there what have you the past year and a half uh they didn't look that good when we covered them and apparently they sat on the shelves and no one wanted them yeah well there was there was some uh backlash on them too and i believe we covered it because um they were calling them like uh, I don't know, like arcade bursts or Namco, whatever. Yeah. They, but but they were like the NES ROMs. They weren't even or an arcade ones sometimes. And they had did the ones where they had sent, they sent reviewers ones that had different ROMs than the ones that the public had. Yeah, it was a fiasco that was happening with it. A fiasco. But they're actually absolutely right. Oh, uh, Walgreens. First of all, they had an agreement, correct? But yeah, if they send this stuff back, they already, if Walgreens already already purchased the merchandise and they have an agreement in stone saying if we don't sell this, you guys are taking it back. Then obviously it's a slam dunk in court. But if they send us stuff back, then and then uh, At Games can resell it to another wholesaler or uh, themselves. That can be double dipping at that point. So it's it's not good for At Games if this is if this is exactly what's what the the deal is with Walgreens. Um, so the if you want to go over the Bandai lawsuit uh, in August this year, Bandai was alerted to the existence of a Miss Pac-Man home arcade cabinet developed by At Games. The cabinet. Features copyrighted images and characters, and Bandai alleges that the, the Miss Pac-Man software was included without its permission. Furthermore, Bandai alleges that At Games sold the product to retailers, making false claims that the Miss Pac-Man arcade cabinet was legitimately licensed. This I don't. This I didn't even hear about. That. I didn't know that At yeah. Games put out a, an arcade cabinet. So yeah, basically, At Games sold a bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pac-Man cabinet uh, to to real t- retailers. Um, so now they so then in August and and I'm, I'm trying to get all this correct. In August, at Games basically bought the royalty interest uh, that GCC owned. GCC was and I I think this isn't like a this isn't. A, 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 some people might not know. Ms. Pac-Man was not created by Namco. Mm-hmm. Pac-Man came out, and a group of people basically did a hack of Pac-Man and made Ms. Pac-Man. And then well, it was uh, Otto at first, and then they changed. Yeah, that. and so that went to um, 
uh, that was sold to Crazy Auto. Yeah. Uh, was sold to Bally Midway and and Namco, and that's how it became. Uh, it, it got back under the Namco banner. GCC would get royalties uh, any time that Ms. Pac-Man was used. I don't, okay. I don't know the extent of the royalties. I don't know if it was for everything, but they did get some money um, any time. I believe any time the game was basically used. So I know like Ms. Pac-Man on um, arcade collections and stuff like that. If it's on there. Uh, then GCC would have been getting some sort of a cut. Um, so At Games went and bought that from them without Namco knowing. Ah. So now At Games will get royalties for usage of Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, G- GCC will get royalties. No, from- no, At Games. GCC sold off. Basically, GCC is getting rid of their stake. Gotcha. So now At Games has it. But they don't have the rights to use the characters to market. No, and um, so it's it's clarified a little bit down here. Um, the uh, let's see, where is it? Um, I they they clarified it nicely. I'm just trying to find it. Reach uh, Bantai Namco of America representative. Note that the company does not ordinarily comment on pending litigation. However, the company did comment to underline the nature of the rights at games bought and the ones Bando Nam- Bandai Namco has. So basically. BNEA, so Bandai Namco, has exclusive rights to use the Ms. Pac-Man mark and to reproduce, distribute, display, perform, create derivative works of, and or use the Ms. Pac-Man copyrights, as well as to enforce the Ms. Pac-Man mark and Ms. Pac-Man copyrights in the United States. That's important. Gotcha. At Games thought that they had something going on that they, they didn't. So, At Games has not acquired any control over the Ms. Pac-Man intellectual property, merely the rights to be paid royalties when it is used in commercial works. The position stems from the complicated way in which Ms. Pac-Man was developed. Three programmers, then students at MIT, developed a mod for Namco's Pac-Man that eventually became Ms. Pac-Man after they shopped it to Bally Midway. Over the years, Namco and its descendant companies acquired full control over Ms. Pac-Man, but even after agreements reached in 83 and 08 with the seven individuals connected to GCC's stake in the IP, some royalty rights and obligations were still unresolved. Gotcha. So those unresolved royalty rights and obligations are what I believe At Games went and got and then basically thought they could, as far as I can tell, they they felt like they could do what they wanted with it at that point. According to, I'm looking at this boing boing.net article about who has the rights. So the the, the claim from, from Bandai Namco is that they not only made this prototype Miss Pac-Man miniature arcade cabinet, but they're now showing they showed it to retailers making deals with retailers, right? For something they can't do. Do GameStop and Walmart about selling the cabinet without the involvement of Bandai Namco. Uh, Bandai, Namco Bandai Namco also believes Act Games made false statements about. It's access to the IP. So they're they're alleging that At Games is like, oh yeah, we got this Miss Pac Man cabinet, we can do other stuff. And Ben and I'd be like, No, you can't. Right. You can't just say that shit. You can have some money from us by law, but that's that's that, that's it. Like if we use it right, it's 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 not their place to make the call. So I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see Ms. Pac Man stuff for quite some time. Uh, this seems like it's it's fairly bitter. You can read between these lines pretty easily. That Namco band will be like, you're not touching any of our stuff ever again. Oh, or yeah. Bandai Namco is just going to be like, well, I guess we're not going to see Ms. Pac-Man for a while. Oh, I'm going to go one step further. Between this lawsuit and the Walgreens one, you might be saying bye to Act Games. Oh, I think we, we might be. And uh, that that's obviously the the end. But I, I until that gets settled, I wouldn't be surprised if Namco Bandai was like, okay, cool. We don't need to use Ms. Pac-Man stuff. We have so much else. Your, your, your bid has failed. You thought you had us, but we can simply not put out Ms. Pac-Man stuff. And therefore, you get nothing from these rights that you just actually paid money for to someone else. Because if you got the you got the software rights, but you, if you don't have the, the – you can't market it, basically. Well, they don't have the software rights. They just have the rights to make money off of it. They just have the rights. They just have royalty rights. Royalty rights, but yeah, but if they don't have the trademark copyright. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. They have the rights to make money off it without having any of the other trademark. Oh, so so Bandai Namco, I could see them easily just being like, okay, fine. Well, then we're just not going to do anything with Ms. Pac Man. Because they don't want Akins to even get whatever, 2% or whatever the royalty is. Yes. I, I, I I, I see this being very bad blood. 
Um, and I don't think it's going to... Yeah, this ain't going to pan out the way At Games wants it to pan out. So it's, it's kind of like a mini power play by by At Games. Oh, it's a power play by At yeah. Games that is going to absolutely shit all over their faces. Well, yeah, because this lawsuit's going to bleed them out if the Walgreens ones doesn't. I yep. think Walgreens... High power lawyers are gonna let this go about all this shitty plastic garbage they sent back that they could that they already paid for and couldn't sell and, and want I want a refund on. And if I've got this right, I mean I'm sure At Games paid the GCC people a decent probably. Amount. So I don't know what the royalty would be five percent ten. We don't know what the royalty I don't know. Would be yeah, but I'm assuming that. that I'm assuming that At Games in their wisdom, we gotcha. Uh, you know, move here. They didn't know that what they were really buying is that, that's, that's they had to know what they were actually purchasing from GCC. GCC wouldn't have re- misrepresented like, like we don't have the rights to make the games. We have just rights to royalties. They wouldn't misrepresent. Yeah. So this is at games either overplaying their hand, I guess, like yeah. in a really dangerous I, I, way. I really think this was a kid who thought he was gonna he was being gonna smart. Bull, gonna bully big 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 Bandai and it's Namco. It's not gonna work. It's like the it's like the people who thought they were brilliant and bought all those Popeyes chicken sandwiches and then tried to sell them for ten dollars a piece outside of Popeyes. People really try to do that. Yep, and they were left with bags of cold chicken sandwiches. Well, these people thought that they could get one up on Bandai Namco, and I have a feeling they're not going to see much money from this. Wow. And that's if I'm following this correctly. No, you, you clarified about the rights to the royalty, but so they're I, not. I, you, you can have the rights to a royalty, but that doesn't mean you can produce the product or use the licensing of the character. Right. If the person who can do that suddenly decides, so, hey, okay. we're not going to produce any more of this, well, then your right to a so, royalty means nothing. So you you purchase the royalty rights to, say, an upcoming CU podcast enamel pin, we'll just say. Mm-hmm. You have the royalty rights to a percentage, but you don't have the rights to produce the pin nor to use the images of the podcast in order to... So if, we, so if we take this pin and we, uh, yeah, if, if that pin were to come out and we were to melt all those pins down, then that royalty stake is, is nothing. It means nothing to me. Yeah. I can't go and make more. So did Big Daddy Pat will say, you know what then, Ian? I don't care if I make the majority. I don't like the fact that they're getting anything. I'm not going to make them. And, and you can't make them either. So that's what you're saying, What potentially what Bandai Namco is going to do with Miss Pac-Man. Yes. Okay. I think Ms. Pac-Man is a little too big for, th- for that to happen. Me too, but I think but, they can conveniently but, make Ms. Pac-Man go away for a year. Well, they can still sue and say, you know what? We can sue you for a, a couple million dollars. We'll, we'll have you in court for years or give us the royalty rights back. We're not going to do business with you ever again. They're just going to strong arm. That's what I would do. They're yeah. probably going to do that. So then Bandai Namco will have 100% of the royalties. That's Ms. Pac-Man. Well, and th- that's where this is going. That's where it's going to go. Namco is finally going to have all the rights to Pac-Man. I don't know what Act Games. Pac-Man. I don't know what Act Games coffers look like, but between this and the the Walgreens thing, they're in trouble. Well, the coffers are obviously low if they can't pay Walgreens back. It's a lot of money. They they overestimate how many people want their Burst products when they put. Remember they put out like that's eight, what they were called arcade Burst. Burst, right? but yeah, they, but, they, like but, but they, they did the mini consoles and they did the the controller ones. It's just too many products at once. They did like. They did like what twelve different ones. Remember we covered it. We couldn't keep track of them. It's 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 a classic example of reading the market wrong. Just because everyone wants a Nintendo Mini doesn't mean that people just want games and consoles and minis. They want a quality one. They want a quality one. They don't want like the, the, the you know the, the eighth time they can get Space Invaders on something i shit on yeah. the internet a lot for being like the beginning of a lot of bad things but one good thing one thing that it's been very good for is consumer awareness you can't shuttle out a shit product anymore and really expect it to do very well word's gonna get around especially in a hobbyist group like um video games where these people are they're already connected to the internet as it is they're already spouting opinions every day so yeah you can't really just sneak one by it's like what sony did it's funny how these companies are very, very slow to catch up with uh, the notion of, of knowledge just being instantly available. You can still buy the Bandai Namco Flashback Blast console for $18 on Prime. It has, Blast, that's what it was. It has a, a burst blast, whatever. It's like a Starburst uh, ad. Uh, $18 on Prime, three-star rating out of five. And then you can get the... You can get another one for only six dollars. The Legends flashback. That's the one that has Space Invaders on it. No one wants that. So six dollars on Prime. They are losing money at that point on that product. They're just trying to get rid of it. Whoever's selling it for six dollars. The Activision ones on uh, eight dollars. Um, they're all really inexpensive right now uh, for for those. So and then they also have you know all the other ones. 
that they're doing the console ones. But those controller ones, oof, I don't know about that. Oh, you can get them used for $12 or from other sellers. So yeah, these aren't selling for anything anymore. And obviously they didn't sell at Walgreens. <laughs> no. Walgreens is like, you know what? We'd rather have, have shelf space for all Halloween items that we put out in uh, you know early September. You know, We're not going to be dealing with this plastic crap anymore. Yeah, you saturate the market with crap and people are going to stop buying your crap. Yeah, and, and, and it, because these all-in-ones have been out now for like 15 years almost at this point in some form or another. And I think it, the, fad's, the fad is gone. Uh, when it when it comes to these, you know, we're we're way past it. They have to be quality. Even the quality ones, I I, I don't well, sure. I don't think we have a lot. Uh, we have a lot of room left for these. I mean, the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo one came out and they were great. The Sony one came out and it was awful, and people were like, "Well, that's the end of it." Especially when Sega announced they were doing another one, and they said At Games was behind it. People are like, "This is over." Sega saw the writing on the wall with At Games and was smart, and then did it in house with M2 and put out a a really nice, reasonable product. But I. I, I do think that after the turbo, I I don't know. You're running out of steam after, and it's, even the turbo, I'm still struggling. I don't know if that'll sell well or not, based upon the no one had it. So I don't know if that'll sell. I, I well think or it not. will sell decently, based on the fact that no one had it because of curiosity and the fact that it's expensive stuff. Sure. Talking to people in the store, I've had a lot of people been like, "Yeah, I saw that. I don't really know what it's about, but I'm going to grab it because I've always been interested in those games." That is kind of the general consensus. Will it translate over to sales? I don't know, but even when Nintendo comes around, if they do a 64 Mini, it will sell, but I think we are getting to the point where even the well-done ones, the novelty of the Mini console is wearing off, and these things do take up space. And three years, even the, well, because the NES class is only three years ago. <laughs> I, yeah. think, I, think, I think within three years, all of these are going to be things that, again, you're seeing at a flea market like the old plug-and-plays. I, I, no matter the quality, I think when people, when it comes time for people to clean house, they're going to look at these little things, and as nice as they seem, I think they're going to be like, this can go. Especially because a lot of the market for them, outside of collectors, were people who were impulse buying them. Hey, I remember this. This will be a good holiday gift. Um, well, the big thing for the Konami is we, like, we just don't know who's producing it. We don't know like who's actually going to be. Oh, doing it, yeah. One's manufacturing it. Yeah. So if that's like at games, forget it. Like I uh, don't think that, <laughs> well, Konami <laughs> might be the one company I'd kind of be like, eh, hey, why not? Yeah, hey, you guys can do it cheap. Yeah. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just throw it on a controller. We, we, we wouldn't have a system you anymore. You got any more of them Sega Genesis controllers? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got like 20,000 ready to go, Konami. We'll give them to you dirt cheap. And they're red, too. So you just throw on do, do blue you, buttons, red. Do you mind if uh, Pac-Man's on the controller? No, that's fine. Pac-Man. Uh, we can yeah. do Pac-Man down Konami, there. please, Konami, don't mess up the TurboGrafx MIDI. I'm surprised it's happening. Please don't screw this They've up. They've already showed the cases. I know, but I mean, like, the game's selection is surprisingly really good. Yep. It's only missing a couple that I would put on. I got Splatterhouse back on there. We're going off topic, but please, Kami, don't screw this up because this is the one. This is mine. This is Pat's. It's the only kid in my town that had a Turbo Graphics. Don't screw it up. All right. Well, that's good. We'll 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 come back to these uh, topics later about these all-in-ones, and we'll see when they finally die out here. 